I'll do it. you. No, come no further. Grey Warden or no, I will strike you down where you stand. I am a mage of the Circle. More importantly, why are you here? The Templars would not let just anyone by. And you were told that the Circle was in no shape to help you, I suppose. So why did the Templars let you in? Do they plan to attack the tower now? <sighs> they sent for it then. I feared they might have. What else could they do? So Gregor thinks the circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. They abandoned us to our fate. But even trapped as we are, we have survived. If they invoke the right, however, we will not be able to stand against them. Let it suffice to say that we had something of a revolt on our hands, led by a mage named Aldred. When he returned from the battle at Ostagar, he tried to take over the Circle. As you can see, it didn't work out as he had planned. I don't know what became of Aldred, but I am certain all this is his doing. I will not lose the Circle to one man's pride and stupidity. I erected a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower, so nothing from inside could attack the children. You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but I will dispel it if you join with me to save this circle. Once Gregor sees that we have made the tower safe, I trust he will tell his men to back down. He is not unreasonable. Petra and Kenan will watch them. If we slay all the fiends we encounter on our way, none will get by to threaten the children. Petra, Kenan, look after the others. I will be back soon. Wynn, are you sure you're all right? You were so badly hurt earlier. Maybe I should come along. The others need your protection more. I will be all right. Stay here with them. Keep them safe and calm. Your confidence is refreshing, though you should make sure it does not blind you to your weaknesses. If you are ready, let us go end this. Indeed. Yes. Look after her, will you? I don't know if she's up to this, especially not after... I just worry. I was on my way down to the library when I heard screaming, and a demon came around the corner. Its eyes were afire with evil. I was certain it was my death come upon me. I think I screamed. I was so afraid. And then Wynne was there. In front of me, shielding me. It was light and fire, blood and chaos. When it was over, the demon was dead, but Wynne wasn't moving either. I was so afraid she was... gone. As I moved to help her, she stirred and coughed. I don't know what I would have done if she had died for me. Just look after her, all right? She might be completely fine, but then again, maybe she didn't come away from that totally unharmed. Thank you. And thank you again for helping us. Have you ever seen an abom... Ab an abomid... Abomid nation? 
It is good to see that some wardens survived. We are sorry for the loss of your comrades. You heard about Logang. I would never have imagined the Terran a traitor. When was at Ostagar? She told us everything upon her return. But why speak of things past? Be careful in there, and stay safe. Boys are better at magic than girls. I don't suppose this is what you expected the Circle to be like, is it? I keep thinking this is our punishment for being mages. That's why the Templars have to... to do away with us. Their swords are like the... the Sword of Mercy that sent Andraste back to the Maker. Andraste only died because of man's foolishness and pride. We need to atone for this. We should let the Templars come. Only then can we be cleansed of our wickedness. I will pray. May we abandon our tainted bodies to find peace with the Maker. Are the Templars coming for us? Here we are. <laughs> I'm somewhat amazed at myself for having kept it in place this long. It made me very weary at times, but I had to stay strong to keep us safe. Be prepared for anything. I do not know what manner of beasts lurk beyond this barrier. Are you ready? All right. Be on your guard. Right. Going.
going. <laughs> 